Well, former Eastern Illinois quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo is still waiting for a call after they won the NFL draft, which comes as no surprise to the experts, but now it's day two, and it could be his chance to shine. Garoppolo was at Radio City Music Hall last night, soaking up the limelight and walking the red carpet. He also made a stop at the Mount Sinai Cravis Children's Hospital in New York, hanging out with some patients and some fellow draft prospects. Three quarterbacks went before Eastern's Walter Payton Award winner, but there are still teams in the market for a quarterback in the second round. The Associate Athletic Director for Eastern, Rich Mosier, caught up with Garoppolo and his mother, Denise, before the first round. No, this is a crazy thing. You never know where someone's going to go, who's going to trade up, trade down, and uh, you know everything can get thrown off on one pick. So you know, it's one of those things you kind of, kind of have to sit back and just let the chips fall where they may. Well, you can see Garoppolo and the other eight invitees who were not drafted in the first round tonight when round two starts just after our newscast. And with the outdoor track season coming to an end, Eastern Illinois Track and Field is giving athletes one last chance to qualify for the NCAA regional event. Numerous schools were competing today, looking to post their best scores in hopes of moving on to regionals and nationals. Sportswatch's Jack Sheehan has the latest from O'Brien Stadium. I can tell the girls are really good, so I'm assuming the guys are really good as well. There's a lot of good competition, D1, uh, Division II, NCAA. Athletes from all across the Midwest are on the campus of Eastern Illinois University today, competing one final time for the chance to qualify for the National Track Tournament. And EIU thrower Zane Chapman says that's what this event is all about. It's the last chance meet, last chance for everyone to come out, get some good marks in, and hopefully qualify for each. As for Vincennes long jumper Ernest Gardner, he says it's a nice day to post some even nicer scores. Try to make the Nationals. By just taking a step forward, you know, better mark as, you know, it's a pretty nice day so far. So try to qualify for nationals, you know, get some good marks up. Although this pressure-packed meet is the last opportunity to qualify for the postseason, Chapman says he's staying loose. Really just kind of having some fun with it. Nothing to lose, really. Just come out here, compete, have fun, bust out some big throws, and hopefully advance the next round. In Charleston, I'm Jack Sheehan for WEIU Sports Watch. Mark. The Panthers currently have four athletes that post a mark in the top 48 of the West region, as the regional will take place at Arkansas in the coming weeks. That includes Newswatch's own Jaleesa Paramore, as she is qualified for the long jump and the 100-meter hurdles. Well, they were 17-7 and against Ohio Valley Conference opponents during the regular season, but now it's the postseason, and Eastern Illinois softball is one loss away from elimination. The OVC tournament is double elimination, so the Panthers have a chance to climb back on top, but it's an uphill battle after a loss against Southern Illinois Thursday. The defeat put Eastern in the loser's bracket, where they were supposed to play Eastern Kentucky at noon. Well, as for that one, rain got in the way, and now Eastern's game against the Colonels is at 6. In the meantime, we caught up with a few members of the team and talked about what this year's tourney means for the Panthers. It is a whole new ball game, and we've always, we've talked from the beginning, it's not how you start the season, it's how you finish. I think it would be awesome if we could be the team to make it to the regional. Especially having what, eight seniors. It would, yeah. Just would, be nice to come cap like, off our finish senior our senior year, year yeah, with winning the tournament. Menega and Mede spoke about being the first to make it to regionals. And well, they're right. Despite some impressive regular seasons, Eastern has never won the OVC tournament. And finally in sports, the Chicago Cubs and White Sox finished up their midweek series at U.S. Cellular Field. The Cubs won 12-5, and across town, the Chicago Blackhawks are in Minnesota for Game 4 against the Wild. Puck drop is at 8.30. But that's all I've got. Savannah Lacey, back to you. Thanks, Nick. Thunderstorm warnings are happening at this hour in central Illinois. Skywatch local forecaster Braden Harp returns next with a look at conditions in Charleston, Champaign, Effingham, and all the area. But first, Chicago opens a new tourist attraction this weekend that makes you literally tilt over the city. Stay with us. Thank you for spending your Friday evening with WEIU. And as we end our newscast tonight, we also say farewell and best of luck to some of our staff members who are leaving the team. So long to news anchors Maggie Hockenberry, Jaleesa Paramore, Jada Moore, Natalie Fetter, and Jillian Stock. Then my friend, sports anchor Jack Sheehan, producer Brittany Brooks, and production assistant is Sheikha Reed. With that, again, farewell to our teammates. Good night, everyone, and have a great weekend.